Today we'll be using a diffraction grating to determine the various wavelengths in the spectrum of mercury. We'll be using a mercury vapor lamp. As you can see, mercury lamps glow bright blue. This lovely blue color is actually a combination of purple, green, and yellow. This mercury lamp applies a high voltage to a tube of mercury vapor. This excites the electrons in the mercury atoms, causing them to absorb energy. These electrons can only absorb certain quantities of energy, and in doing so, enter into excited states. They occupy these states only temporarily. When they return to their normal or ground states, they release this absorbed energy in the form of photons. Photons are tiny particles of light. In addition to acting as a particle, light also behaves as a wave. Different wavelengths correspond to different colors, which in turn is related to their energy. Mercury emits photons whose energy corresponds to purple, green, and yellow. We'll be using a simple diffraction grating. This diffraction grating is constructed such that many parallel slits on this transparent material causes light waves to interfere with each other. This interference will allow us to view the discrete wavelengths contained in the overall blue light of the mercury lamp. We will be using the equation d times sine theta equals m times lambda. In this equation, lambda represents the wavelength of light, which is the quantity we are interested in finding and its value depends on the particular color of light. The small case d represents the slit size, which is indicated on the grating sleeve. It is written in inches, which are not SI units. Therefore, you must convert to a more appropriate unit, such as a centimeter. The conversion is one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Note that it is also written in lines per unit length. Since the quantity d represents the size of a tiny slit, you will also need to take the reciprocal of this value so that it will have units of length per line. You will use data from your experiment to solve for theta. You will need two values, capital D, which represents the distance from the grating to the meter stick and should be 50 centimeters, and L, which is one half the distance between pairs of wavelengths of the same order. The trigonomic function, tangent theta, is defined as L over D. To find theta, take the inverse tangent of L over D. Finally, M represents the order number. The innermost pair of identical colors is order number 1, or M equals 1. Those color bands just outside of M equals 1 are order number 2, or M equals 2. Now you've been given all the tools you need to solve for the various wavelengths of the mercury vapor lamp. Have fun.